I am Savita Balsang and welcome to Statistics Made Simple. In this video, Index Numbers Part 4, we learn a very important topic that is Weighted Price Index Numbers. Price index numbers are broadly classified into two categories that is unweighted price index numbers and weighted price index numbers. While constructing various unweighted index numbers, equal importance is given to all the items which you have seen in my previous videos. But in practice, it can be seen that different items have varied importance. So now, Let's discuss about weighted price index numbers. For example, though rice and sugar are used every day, the quantity of rice used is much more than the quantity of sugar used. Thus, while computing index numbers, items should be considered with appropriate importance. This is done by assigning weights to various items. And the weights are usually the quantities of the items which are used. This is a very important point to remember that the weights are usually the quantities of the items which are consumed. Weighted price index numbers are classified into two categories that is weighted average of relatives and weighted aggregative index numbers. So let's start first with weighted average of relatives and by relatives we are talking about price relatives which has the formula capital P equal to P1 by P0 into 100 and you are aware that P0 is the price in the base year and P1 is the price in the current year. So under weighted average of relatives an average of the price relatives are calculated and the average may be either the arithmetic mean or the geometric mean. So under the first subdivision A, the weighted arithmetic mean index number is given by the formula is P01 equal to summation WP divided by summation W where W are the weights and capital P is the price relative that is P1 by P0 into 100. Subdivision B, the weighted geometric mean index number is given by the formula is P01 equal to anti-log summation W log P divided by summation W where W are the weights and P is equal to P1 by P0 into 100 which are the price relatives. This again is an important topic and you can get a fine marker in the exam based on it. Like I mentioned that weighted price index numbers are broadly classified into two categories that is weighted average of relatives which I discussed in the previous slide and the other is the weighted aggregative index numbers. So now let's discuss about weighted aggregative index numbers. So before starting with the various types, let us first learn the notations. P0 is a price in the base year. P1 is a price in the current year. Q0 is a quantity in the base year. And Q1 is the quantity in the current year. Now to remember the formulae, for the various weighted aggregative index numbers, please look at what is highlighted in green color, which is mentioned as remember this for weighted aggregative index numbers. So when we have to write the formula for any of the weighted aggregative index numbers, always remember summation P1 by summation P0 which I have marked in the green color box. So let's start with the first one that is last payers price index number. So to compute this index number the quantities in the base here that means Q0 are used as weights. So this can be asked as a one marker. 
what are the weights used in Las Vegas price index number? So your answer will be quantities in the base year or Q0. Now first let us write P01 of L which stands for Las Vegas price index number. So how do we remember the formula? All you have to do is start with summation P1 by summation P0 and because the weights are Q0, multiply the numerator and denominator by Q0 into 100. So last pair's formula is P01 of L equal to summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into 100. The second is Pache's price index number. To compute this index number, quantities in the current year, that means Q1, are used as weights. So, on the left hand side, start with P01 of P, that is Pache's price index number. Now, how do we write the formula? Start with summation P1 divided by summation P0 and since Q1 are the weights, multiply the numerator and denominator by Q1 into 100. So, Pache's price index number is given by P01 of P equal to summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q1 into 100. Third is Marshall Edgeworth price index number. To compute this index number, the mean of the quantities in the base year, that is Q0, and current year, that is Q1, are used as weights. So what is the weight? It is the arithmetic mean of the quantity in the base year and the quantity in the current year. That is nothing but Q0 plus Q1 divided by 2. Again, this can be asked as a one marker. What are the weights for Marshall Edgeworth price index number or Marshall Edgeworth index number? So your answer will be Q0 plus Q1 divided by 2. Now you don't have to remember all the steps which I have described in this slide. You only need to remember whatever is highlighted in the pink colored box. So but let's start with P01 of ME which is equal to again start with summation P1 by summation P0. And since the weights are Q0 plus Q1 divided by 2, multiply the numerator and denominator by it into 100. Then you see that 2 gets cancelled in the numerator and denominator. So you get P01 of ME equal to summation P1 and within round brackets you have Q0 plus Q1 divided by summation P0 and within brackets Q0 plus Q1 into 100. Now expand the terms within the bracket and multiply. So the final expression for Marshall Edgeworth price index number is P01 of ME is equal to summation P1 Q0 plus summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q0 plus summation P0 Q1 into 100. Now though this formula looks lengthy, again it's very easy to remember the formula. If you remember the formula for Las Pears and Pache's price index number, Marshall Edgeworth, if you observe the expression very carefully, the first part is summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 which is Las Pears price index number then put a plus in the numerator and put a plus in the denominator and then write Pache's that is summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q1 into 100. The fourth one is Dobish Bowley price index number which is defined as the arithmetic mean of Las Pears and Pache's price index number. So P01 of DB that is Dobish Bowley price index number is equal to P01 of L plus P01 of P divided by 2.
because dobbish bowley index number is the arithmetic mean of last pairs and pashes index numbers now let's substitute further and simplify so in the next step you have p01 of db equal to remove half common and within square brackets write the formula for p01 of l that is summation p1 q0 divided by summation p0 q0 into 100 plus then write the formula for pashes price index number that is summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 into 100 in the last step we can remove 100 common from both the terms and the final expression for dobbish bowley price index number is p01 of db equal to half and within brackets you have summation p1 q0 divided by summation p0 q0 now please observe carefully there's only one plus summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 and outside the bracket you have into 100 now again an easy way to remember this formula is p01 of db equal to first right half and then within brackets observe the first part is last pairs price index number without 100 that is summation p1 q0 divided by summation p0 q0 now put only one plus sign summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 what is this this is pashes price index number without the 100 and then outside the bracket you have into 100 Next is Fisher's price index number. It is defined as the geometric mean of last pairs and Pache's price index numbers. We know that if we have two numbers, for example A and B, the geometric mean is root of AB. Similarly, P01 of F will be equal to square root of P01 of L into P01 of P, which implies P01 of F is equal to root, substitute for P01 of L and p01 of p so we get summation p1 q0 divided by summation p0 q0 into 100 into summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 into 100 so 100 into 100 will be 10,000 and root of 10,000 will be equal to 100 which can be written outside the square root in the last step so you have the final expression for Fisher's price index number as P01 of F equal to root summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q1 and outside the root you have into 100. So a simple way to remember the formula for Fisher's price index number is write P01 of F equal to root the first term within brackets is last pairs without 100 and the second term in the bracket is Pashe's price index number without the 100 and outside the square root you write into 100. The sixth one is Kelly's price index number. Here the weights are the fixed quantities for the base year and the current year. So the fixed quantities for the base year and current year is denoted by Q. It doesn't have any subscript. So the formula for Kelly's price index number will be P01 of K is equal to, remember to start with summation P1 by summation P0. And because for Kelly's the weights are Q, multiply the denominator and the numerator by Q into 100. So you get P01 of K is equal to summation P1Q divided by summation P0Q into 100. The index numbers chapter has many formulae. So keep practicing all the formulae and adopt the simple method of remembering the formulae. Thank you for watching and in my next video we will find solutions to problems. 
based on the weighted price index numbers.